So hello, Robert. Hello. Are you ready to talk a little bit about your vocals? Yes, absolutely. So the first question goes actually that when was the first time that you actually recall hearing metal music yourself? Metal music maybe like in when I was really young, 1982 or 83, I think, like Wasp and Venom, early Venom. But that was so dangerous then. <laughs> Twitter Sister and all those kind of bands. So were those bands sort of like the bands that made you become a musician and, and want to become a musician? Uh, not, not really, like with Sister. I, I was really into more black metal, like Bathory in 1987, uh, under the sign of a Black Mark album. I bought that one and I was thinking, oh, this is how music should be done. So that's about 1987 I decided to, I want to do metal or black metal or death metal. So what was like in metal music that sort of like caught your attention? What was in metal that sort of you made you like it? I really don't know because you're, you're a kid back then. I, I was a kid. I was like, this is tough. This is cool. They look like they're having a good time. So I think it's only because of that. So what made you become a musician? What kind of like spark do you have behind that? The spark was... I didn't like sport that much, so, and I quite early uh, had a really great like voice, like deep voice, like metal voice, so like growling back when I was 14, so that's what, oh, this is what we're going to do. So did you first pick up like a guitar and then started singing or how did that go? Uh, was, no. was Stream Mud Elk like the first proper yeah, yeah, that you yeah. had? Yeah, that was punk in, in, in the 80s. And, yeah, I played guitar then. And that was like the first proper band that you had? Or did you uh, have like bands already before? Yeah, I think that was the first like proper band, if you call it a proper band. We <laughs> did some shows and we did, yeah, most in our hometown. But yeah, we did, we did some shows. But yeah, that was the proper band. But the first real proper band was Pantheimonium, I think. But that was 1990. And, and that was a band already that you started singing in, or was that also a band where you were just playing guitar? No, Pentamonium was the death metal band. That was me and Don Swan uh, from Age of Sanity, and yeah. Benny Larson from Age of Sanity, okay. and a guy called Robert. We had that band from 1990 to 96. We did like three albums and singles. So when you started doing like more extreme type of vocals, yeah. How long did it sort of take for you to figure out the right technique for it? Were you losing your voice in the early days, like all the time, or? Uh, no, I didn't. Didn't. Never. But I, I, uh, I sang along to records like uh, first Death album okay. and a uh, second Leprosy album, and early Boltzower al album from Carl Willis. I was singing along, so. No, it felt natural to me. So where like Chuck Schuldiner and, and, and Carl Willis sort of yeah. like your biggest like influences yeah. as, a, as an extreme vocalist? Yeah. As, yeah, back in the days. Nowadays I don't think about it uh, that much, but yes. So in the early days, were you like rehearsing a lot with the singing? Like on your own, were you like playing the records and like rolling and sort of trying to mimic them first before yeah. trying to figure out your own way to do things? Or how did your like own vocals took the shape that it is today? Yeah, I started like that. But as a teenager, like standing in front of the mirror and trying <laughs> to look cool. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. But were you like immediately making your own music or were you first like playing covers with the bands you were in? Or? No, we did do our own music. Yeah. Okay, so it yeah. started like immediately you started yes. to write your own stuff. And that's, I guess, the point where you also tried to sound yourself and not yes. someone else. Yeah, absolutely. It was. Hmm. So what kind of like memories do you have when it comes to like the first proper tours that you did? Were you sort of ready already as a vocalist to do like many shows in a row, had the stamina to do it? Or was it like a struggle to do like more than play one show a at a weekend? Uh, the first, uh, in the 90s I played a lot of bass also, so the first tours and stuff was, um, I played in Darkified, like an old school death metal band. 
so that was no problem. But uh, then later on I started to s and Pantamonio we never played live, so that was kind of easy not to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like. But with uh, then I, because um, it was Don and Benny from Pandemonium and Don uh, skipped Asia Santi and they asked me, can you like join? Yeah, of course. So in like 98 or something, we did uh, maybe four weeks in a row. So that was like the first time I, I get on the road for real and singing. So, but yeah, it worked out fine. No problem. Was it still like a learning experience for you? What's like okay to do as a vocalist on the road and what's not? Uh, maybe I don't remember that, but I, I remember it was kind of easy for me. I, I don't, I never have a problem with the voice. Okay. It's like, I don't, it doesn't hurt or doesn't, doesn't happen anything. Okay. I so can scream for hours and hours. Ah, it's okay. Like, that's my super. Super skill. skill. Yeah, super <laughs> skill. I can scream and play pingis. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> nice balance. Yeah, with it's pingis actually and true. Screaming. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So when it comes to like warming up and preparing for shows, do you have any kind of like routine or do you just go up on stage old school way and sort of like warm up during the show or and has that sort of changed and evolved during the years or remained the same? I think it's I don't do any special warm-ups. Uh, I drink some wine and have a good time with my friends. And it's, uh, just do it. So it's more like relaxing before the show. Yeah, relaxing. Like instead of like preparing yourself for the show. Yeah, I'm preparing, but uh, like, ah, oh, now it's going to be so fucking uh, awesome and stuff. But to just relax before. Okay. I'm relaxed, and then it's time to kick some ass. Has it uh, been always like that for you? So that you don't sort of need any any warming up vocal wise before you go on, up on stage. Oh, I don't need that. If I, no, I don't need it. If I, ah, uh, no, <laughs> no. Okay. I, I can't remember if I did it before, and I don't think so. Okay, it's been so. like that always. Yeah. Are there like some specific foods or drinks, for example, that you wouldn't want to take before the show that you have felt, for example, that they affect your singing somehow? Uh, no, but just don't eat too much or drink too much, of course, but not eat too much. Because uh, you don't, don't want to be like full in the stomach. Like, I, did, I did that once. I remember I was eating so much, it was so good food and it was cake and stuff. And eating, but, but now we're going to play. I was oh, fuck. That was kind of, that was <laughs> a bad, bad decision, but it's good food in France. <laughs> Are there like some specific foods or drinks that you have felt that they help you with the crawling stuff? Uh, no, I can't say that. So you don't notice any difference with no. like I don't. foods or drinks? No, not really. Are there? Uh, some, you know? some people say that they are like okay. having like tea, for example, can help oh, somebody yeah. and and but isn't that more for clean like uh, there's been like thing? some growlers oh, also okay. who said okay. that helps and, and also some kind of like ginger stuff and and somebody oh, yeah, takes yeah. a vodka shot before and it's there's oh, like yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of different everybody is like very different so. yeah but, uh, oh yeah maybe it's for the psych <laughs> yeah yeah, so yeah it can be also mental yeah, stuff yeah yeah, yeah for sure mental. for sure Obviously, yeah. you've released a lot of albums during your career. Are there like some specific albums that you could sort of like pinpoint from the discography where you have taken like a big step forward as a vocalist? Oh. I don't know. It's hard to say, I think. I like all the albums. The old ones when I was a teenager with Pantheonium and the one I released with Edge uh, of 70 back in the 90s, but I don't know, I still think uh, I'm going to do it even better next time. I always think like that. So you feel it, This like is good, but it's, it's going to be even better. Yeah, yeah, so you feel so. you take every album as a sort of like evolution. Yeah, it's like a step, yeah. With Scar Symmetry, you've released like four albums. So, so are there yeah. like some specific albums from that band that you have felt that this is like my best vocal performance. Yeah, the new one released now in June, the, the Phase 2 album, yeah. That's the best one with Scar Symmetry. Are there like some specific things on the like latest album that you've done like differently 
some things that you've tried uh, you yeah i tried never to done. do some yeah some more sort of like screaming like uh, desperate screaming like ah it sounds almost like you're being killed or something so like two parts yeah that sounds cool if you listen to it you will notice where it is so how did that come about was it that, just that like was in the studio experimenting yeah, yourself yeah. in the studio or yeah it was like yeah i try something cool in this end of this verse so Is it normally like on the recording processes that you sort of try to like experiment more or do you experiment more like also on your own time? Do you like try out things? Do you have some kind of like studio where to try yes. out stuff or? Uh, I have, we have our own rehearsal studio in my small town. So I go there from time to time and just rehearse by myself. Uh, playing our old albums and doing even playing, playing other bands albums and singing along with that. Okay, so. you still do that. Yes. What's like the latest stuff that you've been sort of like trying to trying to sing, sing like oh that must be Canberra Corps, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We sing really deep. Yeah. So more so. of like a brutal. Yeah, type, yeah. Type Just of to stuff. keep the voice in shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so sure. For sure. George sings really good. So. so, what were like your parents' reactions when they heard first time that you've started growling in an extreme metal band? Do you remember? Oh, they didn't really understand it back in like <laughs> that's 33 years ago. It was like, what do you, what are you doing with your voice? You sound like a demon. <laughs> so, but, but they liked it. They saw I liked it, and they were like, yeah, he's having a good time, so it's good for him. Yeah, yeah. So they are supportive, like yeah, and, and still you. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they were give they are over 80 now, and um, they were giving me a ride to the to this. Uh, Uh, train station now and I was leaving to this to, to Finland oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and they are eight plus 80 plus and driving their Mustang <laughs> uh, super cool so still doing it <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah, last then, question any kind of advice that you would like to give to a young metal vocalist who is just about to start that journey anything that comes into your mind uh, just do it and practice just yeah and yeah have fun Yeah, that's the reason why I do it nowadays. I want to have fun. I want to travel the world. I want to have yeah, have a good time with friends. So, and the yeah, and practice. Enjoy course. the journey. Yeah, so, yeah so. enjoy the journey. Yeah. Don't think so much about the the goal. Just like have a little step in the time. Time. Thank you a lot yeah. for doing Thank this. Thank you very much.